Hey everyone, it's Chilla here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to work on my client nail. You can see I have already removed the previous design and um, now I'm applying dehydrator and then primer on the nail. And then once I've done, I did not record how to apply the base layer of the clear acrylic and then I'm just coming in straight with the new core powder code Perfect Pearl. This is absolutely a stunning core powder. It is more pinker than the pink opal. So I really, really love this because this is such a great tone of core powder for like any of the glitters, especially the the wedding season it is here so i'm pretty sure all of your clients going to love it so if you don't have it make sure you go to the nails by annabelle website and then use my discount code zara for the check uh, for discount at the checkout so you can have a little cheeky money off on your next order so here I'm just applying the core powder close to the cuticle area. Obviously, I'm not going to flood the cuticle. I'm not touching the cuticle or the side walls, making sure I am uh, working nice and clean because less product you work with or when you work with the right amount of product, then you do not need to file so much. And of course, you can save so much time on the filing and um, it doesn't matter if your work is not as fast as mine uh, you know it's just we all start somewhere so please don't be hard on yourself i'm saying that especially for the students i do have because i know they're watching this video so please ladies please guys don't be um, you know don't be afraid of doing the prep work for a long time as long as you do the prep work correctly as long as you do your job perfectly and not missing any step so so yes and of course if you would like to train with me you can always always request me in the notes section of the, at the checkout to be your educator i am one of the glitter bells educator so Yes, you can go to the Nails by Annabelle Academy website and or you can go to my Instagram to check out my page, which is Zara Nails Chilla. And then um, I'm going to leave everything in the description box so you can go and check everything out. So, yes. And of course, don't forget, if you ever have any questions, just message me. Either you can leave a comment under the video or message me on instagram or facebook or wherever you like so i get this nail inspiration from lisa levy from germany she is absolutely fantastic uh actually actually i didn't get this my client did she came in with a picture from lisa levy and she said she wants exactly the same like this i said shall we change this shall we uh, do something different no she wanted the same as what lisa did so i really hope if you're watching lisa then you like what i've done because um you are such a great inspiration for all the people so yeah i hope you like it so on the pinky finger i was using uh, electric blue no bright blue on the ring finger i was using purple rain and then lava lamp dragon fruit on the middle finger and then shine bright on the thumb and now on the pinky i'm going to use baby boy crush which is one of the newest crushes from the glitter bath premix glitter range and then I'm going to apply this really, really thin. I'm going to fade it down ever so slightly, not putting any thickness to it. I'm working with a very small bleed and I'm making sure I'm cleaning the side walls 
perfectly so I don't have too much fire to do and now I'm using on top of the wet layer I just picked up a very small amount of aqua stardust uh, from the from the stardust collection and then I was just applying the chunkiest glitter on top of that on the ring finger as I said I was using purple rain and now I'm using lavender crush I'm pretty sure I was using lavender crush and then I was using I think I used purple panda because um, the purple panda it is really really nice as well and then I picked up only few chunky bit from the previous stardust collection and just just a few as you can see not many just maybe two or three so I'm just applying it to the wet layer so I'm not picking up any thickness these nails are nice and thin and at least I do not have to fire so much because I absolutely hate filing as you guys all know but of course I am if I are trained so I don't do as much hand filing but I stay I still don't like filing and I bet you don't like filing either so on the middle finger as I said before I was using dragon fruit and I'm using pink crush at the moment nice and thin changing the angle of my brush feathering the glitter down wiping the side wall so it's nice and thin you can see I'm getting rid of with a bit of glitter because I thought it's a little bit too too chunky and now I'm using beauty stardust and I'm really gently just applying it on top of the wet layer i'm not putting any thickness to it so it's nice and thin and because the wet layer is still there you can just separate the chunky glitter from the from the pot on the index finger i was using love lamp and now i'm working with hot crush which is gorgeous if you guys don't have it make sure you do Put that in your basket because it is a must have one especially this time of the year and then once the hot crush is on again i'm just picking up the juicy stardust and you can see there is a silver chunky bit there which i did not really want to keep there so that's why i removed it and i'm just applying those chunky glitters but i'm not going to overdo it because you don't need to and then once I'm happy, once the whole nail is nice and neat, then I'm going to go on to the thumb nail. So on this nail, I did apply Shine Bright. As you can see, nice and thin. I'm using Lemon Crush at the moment. I'm feathering it down, bringing the product all the way to the end. So I have a nice glittery layer and then I'm going to probably I'm going to wipe the side because it is again as I said before it is so much easier to work if it's not as chunky and not as wobbly so I'm using sunny stardust in this one and you can see I'm removing the silver bits again because I did not really want to see so many silver because the stardust collection have any it's got some butterflies, stars, heart, like a moon, and it's got some iridescent bit in there, some fine glitter, medium glitter, chunky glitter as well. So it's really, really beautiful. So here are the nails before I kept them. I really like them already. So I already done the other nails on, I mean, the other set on my client left hand and now i'm going to cap only two of the nails don't worry i'm not going to cap all of the nails front of the camera because i do not want you guys to get bored so here i'm capping all the nail with clear acrylic which is called glass slippers i'm making sure i'm applying the apex and also what you need to look out for is make sure all the glitters are kept with the clear acrylic and just check it from few angles if you can see any 
glitter is shining back then clearly that glitter is going to be fired away so please please make sure ladies or make sure guys you do check those glitters because we do not want to get rid of with the gorgeous glitter what we just applied especially because some of them are chunky so sometimes it is a bit harder to work with so i know i'm a little bit out of the camera so i'm sorry about that but when the phone is on my um, on my stand i cannot really see what i'm doing to be honest because everything is in my way so but i hope you don't mind that so you're going to see in a minute uh, i thought i kept the sidewalks correctly but when i checked it from the side view i can see there is a little teeny tiny triangle was missing on the side so you need to make sure your structure is strong enough because otherwise that is going to be your client breaking point so that's why it's very very important so here I have already fired the other hand I started to come in and start filing the pinky nail and also the index finger I'm not going to do all of them so please do not worry I'm using my file 90 degree angle to the side because this is the way how you can create a nice straight side walls and and also you can see when I'm filing the left side on the nail or even the right side I always hold my thumb or the finger against it so at least I'm not going to put any pressure on the nail so make sure you hold against the filing I hope that makes any sense so you see I'm filing on the right hand side and my thumb was against on the other side and now my middle finger was uh, helping that sidewalk to be beautifully sharp this is one of my biggest biggest thing when i'm teaching you know because you sell yourself with your work so so if you have a wonky side wall or if you see the nail is not as neat and tidy you might not going to have as much bookings so it's really important for you to always work as neat as possible and now I'm using my drill bit. I absolutely love this drill bit. I know some people use a different one, but the reason why I love this so much is because you can see the top part is nice and skinny and I can go nice and close to the cuticle area without I'm doing any sort of damage to the skin. And also, I just love it. I really do love it. That is my absolute go-to. So here are the nails after being fired and now I'm using the Nova Top Coat from Glitter Bars, obviously because I'm always using Glitter Bars product but as you can see this one has a completely different color bottle to it so this is actually a HEMA free top coat so and another reason why I'm using this is because uh, you can use this not just on top of the acrylic you can use this on top of the natural nail when you do like a gel polish or top of the bearded gel and or on top of the hard gel extensions so this one is like a hybrid one it goes on top of anything give you a, a high shine finish without you removing the sticky layer and it's actually really really gorgeous and super easy to work with because who doesn't love a gorgeous shiny nail right i love i love those nails and actually this is my favorite part to apply the top coat when the glitter comes alive so so yes which one is your favorite part please let me know in the comment section so at least i can check it out and you can see I'm just removing the extra which it bent on the, the side. And now I'm removing the extra gel polish or the top coat from the side. So the side walls are going to be nice and straight. I'm going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And here I have already applied some cuticle oil, massage it in and massaged underneath as well. 
so i really hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe like hit the bell button so you can get a notification on your next video i mean my next video when it's coming up if you would like to book any courses with me just give me a message and thank you very much for watching thank you for um, being here with me bye